<sighs> Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. I've decided to get some fresh air because another watch along. I've decided to come to even a for a different environment. Let me go to the big six studios in London. Let me just go and see if a different environment would bring a Liverpool loss. And yet again, yet again, they've won a game. I am not allowing Grizz Khan to gaslight me. Liverpool, they are serious and Liverpool are title contenders. Whether you don't want to say it or not, whether you won't want that responsibility, you lot can shush, you lot are title contenders and it hurts me. If Liverpool win this league, I might go, you see Kenya, I might go further than Kenya. Where's further than Kenya? I need to know where's further than Kenya because if Liverpool win this league, which is a possibility, it's a possibility, yeah? Because for me, what Arn Slot has done to them, yeah, is that they have made it so abundantly clear that we don't care about getting the third goal or the fourth goal. We're going to show up shop and we're going to defend. And they are defending like animals. They are making sure the game is not a basketball game like Jurgen Klopp. You see how Jurgen Klopp was basketball? High scoring games? No! They say, you know what? We don't mind taking a 2-1. We don't mind that at all. So that's where, for me, the difference is. And I have to respect that from Anslot because he's delivering something that I would say, for me, fair play to them. You give them full, full credit. But right now, today, this game here, I have got to give credit to Curtis Jones. What a performance. McCallis is on the bench. Grizz is like, oh, we're missing this, we're missing that. I said, bro, don't worry. Jones is a is a good player for me. He's someone that I, you know what I like about him. Yeah, just look at his brother getting food in that man. Get out of there, you man. But you know what's what I like about Curtis Jones here yeah, is that he has the arrogance to get on the ball, get it moving, and play on the front foot. That's what I like about Curtis Jones. He's not afraid on the ball. He's not afraid to say, you know what, I'm going to get stuck in. I'm going to try and you know, and he's a local scouser, you know. And today he was everywhere, and the goal. He deserved it. Should have scored in the first half, if I'm being truly honest with you, because he got a bit scared of, of the keeper coming towards him and didn't know what to do with it. But that goal in the pass from Salah was absolutely outstanding. Chelsea, oh my God, man, I was rooting for you today. I was rooting for you. But little did I know, or little should I have known, is that Liverpool always win when I watch them. You shouldn't be embarrassed today. Chelsea fans should not be embarrassed today. You came across a good Liverpool team. A Liverpool team that is going for the title. Chelsea, you are not. Top four is your aim. Top four is where you are going to be. This Chelsea team are nowhere challenges. I know people have been trying to say, oh, they're challenged for the league. No, they are nowhere near challenging for this league. It is going to be between Man City, Arsenal, and Liverpool. That is it. Them three people are challenging for the league. Today, Chelsea, toothless for me. Second half, toothless. You got your goal from Jackson, brilliant work goal, but after that, what happened? Too many men were missing. Cole Palmer went missing, I'm sorry. Cole Palmer was frozen. He was frozen today, Cole Palmer. There was no Cole Palmer today. There was no, that weren't here today. I'll be honest with you. Your best players were Lavio, Caicedo was excellent today. And there was a couple of maybe other decent performances. But other than that, I can't lie to you, your attack did not show up. I thought Sancho played well first 20 minutes. And then I can't lie to you, Trent locked him up. But it should have been a penalty. Where's the consistency? You have a penalty on the other side. But for me, that's a penalty. Why is that not being given? Where's the consistency from the referee? Trent's clearly clipped him. He's not got the ball. It's rash. It's, 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 he doesn't need to do it. And, and, the, and the referee does not even go and check VAR on that. That, for me, is a joke. But other than that, I'm being honest with you, Chelsea did not deserve to win that. Liverpool were fully, fully deserved of their win. I'm sorry, guys. Liverpool deserved that win. We can, we can talk about this, that, the other, but Liverpool deserved it. Defensively resolute. Midfield, Curtis Jones, Gravenberg came in towards the end. Nunes added a bit of bite, even though he didn't really do much on the ball, but he added a bit of bite. Salah, again, outstanding in terms of key decision-making. I said it before the game, guys. I talked about key players turning up. And I said to myself, yo, Trent, Van Dijk and Salah are the three men. If they perform, Liverpool win. What happened? Them three guys performed. Trent was outstanding today. I can't lie to you. Defensively, they're solid. Rocks, rock solid. Who do we go to else uh, next? 
um, Salah, key decision making, making them passes in behind. He kept doing it and doing it and doing it. That's what you want from your defenders, your, your attackers, should I say. Um, Gakpo didn't do much on the whole. But if I'm Maresco, I'm looking at it and I'm saying to myself, you know what? A game too soon. If I'm being honest with you, a game too soon, but ultimately not there for me. Liverpool are just one step above. And that's no disgrace, you know, because you came there. And I thought for the first 30 minutes, Chelsea were the better team. They were playing out for the back. They were controlling the game. Lavia was getting in the pockets and very, very press resistant. The, the decision to drop Enzo Fernandez was justified. Um, not everybody Wakey was getting on the right hand side and isolating the, the, the defenders. So there was opportunities where you said to yourself, you know what, man, why not? Why not do that? Why not go ahead and, 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 and play like that the way they did? And then what happened was Tolson could it be a red card? I don't think it's the same as Saliba's. If I'm being truly honest with you, it's not the same um, foul as Saliba. People will argue it is, but Saliba, I don't know. I don't know if it was the same. So for me, the Saliba one, he's directly on through on goal, whereas the other one is going towards the other side and Jota is it the quickest. And, and it's not ultimately a goal scoring opportunity, if you know what I mean. But then Levi Colwell, what are you doing, man? What are you doing, bro? It's just silly and it's head loss. And it still shows that Levi Colwell's got still a long way to go in terms of developing and understanding that his game. You can't be doing that, man. He clipped Curtis Jones. And obviously, Salah's going to do what Salah does, man. And gets a goal and gets an assist, man. Salah is a, is a freak, man. And he's someone that will always impact games. You ain't going to quiet Salah. You ain't going to hush Salah, bro. It's, it's very, very hard. You think to yourself, you're going to hush him and you're going to... Nah, bro. It ain't going to happen. It ain't gonna happen, bro. So all this idea of oh Salah's gonna get locked up, Salah this that, nah, man, Salah ain't gonna get locked up, man. Salah will keep doing what he's got to do, man. And for me, I'm slot on this Liverpool team. They are serious, man. I, listen for me, yeah. When you look at the team and what they're showing right now, it's a joke, man. Wallahi, I'm not even lying to you. The depth is even there, but for some reason, our slot's got them compact. He's got the resolute. He's got. He's getting an extra twenty percent out of players. The defensive shapes are a bit more better. Trent is not exposed as much this season. And something's there's a control element about them. There's not this hoofball and trying to do crazy stuff like it's not a basketball game. It's something that you would be honest with yourself. But ultimately, I just look at it and I'm like, yeah, it's just not not quite there, man. In terms of what you need to do but ultimately I think for me it was a, it was a, it was a game of two halves if I'm being honest with you. the second half just lacked a bit of quality from, from all aspects Chelsea didn't have anything there's substitutions from Chelsea as well we need to talk about them as well and Cuckoo was too late if I'm being honest with you Neto came on probably had the best impact if I'm being honest with you the rest of them I don't know why he made them substitutions all at once at that period yes Lavia and James have come back from injuries, but do you really need to do that at that point there? Did could they not play another twenty minutes? You know what I'm saying to you? Reese James as well, Reece James as well was poor for that for that um for the goal for Curtis Jones. He needed to judge the line. He didn't judge the line and Curtis Jones went in. But all in all, Liverpool, <laughs> Chelsea, we're only three points behind you, lot. So Mud Brothers, Matisse, hey, <laughs> listen, brother. <laughs> I don't know about that one, but listen, I know where Chelsea are going. I know that's sustainable. For me, it's a valiant effort, man. Valiant, valiant effort. But Liverpool are serious talent contenders, man. Nobody's gonna gaslight me. I'm serious, you guys. Nobody is gonna gaslight me to believing that Liverpool are not title contenders. They're not they are. They are title contenders. I'm out here, bro. Look where I am, man. Man's in the man's in the slums and that. You know them ones there, bro. Man's here, bro. I'm outside, ten toes, and I'm worried. Imagine that. Sit and I have to now support Arsenal for some. I'm like, I'm, I can't be asking these Arsenal fans if I'm being honest with you. You might have too much noise, man, but not enough action. You lost yesterday, cherries. Folks, you throwing cherries on the floor. Man's throwing cherries on the floor, bro. You see what I mean? So it's for me. It's like. Oh, man, I don't know, man. I just think for me, it's like, yo, man, certain man need to fix up, man. And ultimately, today, Man City won, Liverpool won. It's not a great day for me. Obviously, we won out yesterday and it's not too bad, but I wanted a little bit more, man. I needed a little bit more fun and a little bit of laughter. But man of the match, I'm going to go with um, Trent Alexander. No, Curtis Jones, sorry. Curtis Jones, for me, my man of the match. Trent was not far off, to be fair. But yeah, man, I'm going to have to watch Grizz Khan talking about ninjas and 
this is war and the war hat might be on. Grizz Khan, get your war hat on. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.